Siasi, a town in a Jusu municipality, has a rich cultural history which is gradually getting buried. Asante traditional buildings are some of the last material remains of the 18th century Asante civilization. The structure were added to the World Heritage List in 1980 for their distinctive architectural style. They are filled with indigenous traditional constructs detailing the rich Asante culture. These buildings are among the last remaining examples of ancient Asante setups that have traveled over a century. The buildings, primarily made of timber, bamboo, straw, and mud plaster, are arranged around courtyards and originally had thatched roofs. The Ashanti culture's distinctive building style attracted early European visitors to the region. These buildings are distinctive due to their style, construction method, traditional motifs, rich wall coloration, and practice of traditional religion. Ironically, the only 10 buildings that have survived till today are shrine houses of some powerful deities who have interceded and protected the Ashanti. The education officer of Asante traditional buildings, Kwame Pepra Andy, emphasized the need to revitalize the buildings to make them more appealing to tourists. It's a workshop that we had with UNESCO telling us to make this place very reviving and very interesting and also education aspect as it is. Now the turnout here has changed. The cultural officer of the Adjusu Municipal Assembly, Arthur James Anison, expressed the Assembly's commitment to preserving Asante traditional buildings for future generations. The Municipal Assembly has been working in collaboration with Ghana Museums and Monument Boards to hold on to this edifice we have. Roy Kwame Bennett, a tourist, has been sharing his experience. Learning the language, trying to accept and understand the culture, and just getting information. The French government has been actively promoting the attractiveness of these buildings through various activities over the years. Data gathered by the news team indicate that approximately 500 tourists visit the location annually.